In bubble sort, we iterate through the array until there is only one item to be sorted, switching the numbers that are out of order and each time removing the final number from the list of data to be sorted. This is done through subtracting an increasing variable from the inner for loop. In this video, we will be looking at the last three digits of the ID number and trying to organize them in ascending order. So here, Kave will switch with Matthew, then Parth again, then Kyle, then Harleen because Kaveh's numbers are larger than all of them. That is the first iteration where Kaveh is now part of the sorted data. Going through the array again, Caitlin, Matthew, and Parth are in the correct order, with numbers in the correct ascending order. We see that Kyle is not in the correct order, so he switches with Harleen. Now that this iteration is finished, Kyle and Kaveh are part of the sorted data and will not be checked again. The third iteration, we see that Parth is not in the correct order, so he switches with Harleen. Now Parth, Kyle, and Kaveh are part of the sorted data. Going through the list one more time, we see that Matthew is not in the correct order because his ID number is greater than Harleen's, so they switch. Now that all of them are in the correct order, the iteration will continue, but the order won't change until there is only one more element to be sorted.